I have Chef Bob Wagner with Tech Grills, and I'm in one of my favorite places, a farmer's market. Let's go see what people are up to. Think about doing a little grilling. Oh, cool. Well, what do you got? What else you got in the bag? I got some ribeyes, got some onions. You know what? Grab a couple of these, tell them to leave the husk on, and I'll take you over to my Tech Grill, and we'll get it cooking up. Okay, sounds oh. good. We got some organic chicken and some beautiful vegetables. And what are we gonna do with all this? Probably cook all the flavor out of it in the <laughs> oven, much to my husband's delight. You know what I like to do? Grill. Put it on really? the grill, yes. All the flavor, moisture, everything you need to do in there, we can put on the grill. That sounds delicious. I think it's gonna be a salmon night is what we're thinking. How are you gonna cook okay. it? You know, I don't know a whole lot about it, so I'm not uh, not really sure how we're gonna do it. But, well, you know uh, what? Grab some of that. They've got some shrimp too. Bring it over, I've got a grill. I'll show you how. Deal. This is my grill that I was talking about. Tech grill. I love this thing. I've had one for about a year now. And you watch this, yeah, I literally turned it on seven minutes ago. And can you feel the heat? Yeah. You can already feel wow. the heat coming off that thing. It's really hot. So anyway, you got some shrimp. What you were gonna do with it, I have no idea, but I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and throw something together here for you. Alright, so the shrimp are gonna go in here, and yes, I did wash my hands before this in case you were worried about it. Another thing you probably that I know you don't get on your grill at home, yeah, it's a gas grill, right? Gas you grill. Have a gas grill. Well, I can guarantee you there's probably a sweet spot or you got to, you know, there's a oh. band down the center that you get to use and trying to figure yeah. out where to, you know, where to put stuff. But you can see it'll cook all the way across the, across the board. You can put 20 hamburgers on here and they'll all cook exactly the same. Everywhere is a sweet spot. There's no more shoving everything so. in the middle. People complain they don't have time to cook and it's just like, honestly, how long did that take? A couple yeah. minutes. Done. Yeah. In and out. So there you go, guys. Yeah. Here, grab some forks and pass them around. Yeah. You guys can try yeah. that. All right, so you're worried about salmon too. Salmon. We're gonna grill some salmon. We're gonna put a meat side down first. And I'm gonna drop this down and it's gonna take five minutes to grill that piece of salmon. The worst thing about any grill is the fact that it's air. It's like putting your salmon in a dryer. I right. mean, hot air, all that, yeah. what, what do you do with hot air? You dry your hair, you, you, you dry your clothes. That's all it's doing. Whereas this is just infrared heat. Tech, old <laughs> technology, other grills have taken on and they're only at 35% infrared. Right. Tech is 100% now. That's why these guys have no hot air. Whereas the other grills may say infrared. Mm -hmm. Sounds kind of cool, but there's still that 65% hot air. Right. Even a yeah. well-done piece of steak is going to be moist compared to a well-done steak on your grill at home or your okay. grill at home. So it wow. cooks things real quick. But what if I wanted to cook something slow, like a Boston butt? I thought infrared only ran hot. That's the competition. That's the other infrared grills. It's 100% infrared. So you can turn it all the way down, which no grill you can, I guarantee you there's no grill you can turn it down to 250 degrees, yeah, which is Boston right. butt time, hot or not. and leave it on there. <laughs> and you can actually throw wood chips on top of the grill. Really? And it'll really? smoke just like this, and you it'll smoke up. And get all the good flavor. And get all the incredible, wow. all the incredible flavor things. out of that yeah. thing. And what I'm gonna do is let this rest, just like any meat or any steak or anything like uh -huh. that, pull it straight off the grill. It's, you know, it's tightened up like this, where you can let it just sit for three or four minutes and just let it all, kind of all that wonderful flavor just and sit back cooking. inside it. But you can see, look at that. When was the last time you saw a, a yeah, stick no, that wasn't burnt up in flames yeah, and half the no. tomatoes are in the grill yeah, and really half that's the stuff? Every time. That's so there you go, look at how pretty that is. Wow. Fun stuff on salmon. I mean, what, is it another like, 10 minutes or something yeah, like that? Yeah. And you can cook it well done and it'll still be tender because there's no dry heat. We're not right. cooking with dry it's heat at so all. It's so moist, it, that's crazy. We've got some organic chicken breast. Everybody's gonna get some olive oil. The burners are underneath this glass plate and all that's radiated across through that and so there's really no flare up. There's no, there's no flame, nothing's touching it. So how are you gonna it. get the charcoal flavor? Just whatever this flavor, so the olive oil and the natural flavor from the, uh, from the vegetables. So these guys are done. That is so yummy. Oh, you were a little worried about your corn. Slide them on there. Oh, me? Just don't burn your hands. Just, just like throw it on the grill. Hey, hey, put them in there. Put another one. That. Put three or four of them oh, in there. Right. You got all right. Burnt the corn. Yep. You can see what it did? But it's not burnt on the inside. So we're going to take all this stuff out. Nice. Just like that. And you want it to burn. You want it to get that far into it. I'm going to let you clean my grill. Drop the top of that grill down. And maybe a little bit hot. Is it hot? Nope. Don't feel it down. You're cleaning the grill. We can eat the ribeye, and in 10 minutes, you turn it off. It's like a self-cleaning oven. Same That's thing. great. That's what I love about it. You want the most flavorful, you want juicy steaks and chicken, you want the best flavor out of what you're buying, Tech Grill's the way to go. There you go, guys, it's that easy. You want your food to taste the best? Buy a Tech Infrared Grill.